Hey guys, it's me, Death on the West, back for another edition of One Life. I almost said credit, I'm gonna have to get used to not saying that. Uh, this is the third episode of One Life. Uh, this is a game that I have fond memories of, and I'm sure you all have fond memories of as well. If you grew up a Nintendo kid, this is the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This came, this is listed as number 98, surprisingly, on, uh, IGN's top 100 NES games of all time. I'm thinking it's probably that low because a lot of people, you know, good example, um, the Angry Video Game Nerd had a real problem with this game being uh, very difficult. And uh, as, if you've seen that, the Angry Video Games video on it, then uh, you know what, what, what I'm talking about. So this is one that I have fond memories of. Uh, Mostly, um, beating the first level, maybe, yeah, the first level, and then getting stuck on that damn, damn level. So that's probably where I'm going to get to on, on, uh, this one life, and, well, we'll sh we shall see. Alright, uh, this was, uh, published by Ultra Games, a subsidiary of Konami Games, uh, back then there was some some uh, laws about how they could only publish a certain amount of games a year, so they created uh, subsidiary companies for uh, for um, publishing games, getting more games out. It's kind of silly. It's like, who cares if it's the same company? I'm guessing that they did it um, from what I read and gathered. Uh, it had to do a lot with they didn't want the uh, market to get oversaturated like it had during the Atari days, which ultimately led to the uh, video game crash of the early 1980s. <laughs> a foot, a foot soldier, a foot clan soldier as a little mini boss. It's pretty funny, actually. So, yeah, this is one that I remember very well from childhood. A whole lot of fun. I mean, as much as I was a Nintendo kid, I was... I was totally a Turtles fan. Saw the new movie. Um, it was alright, but nothing, nothing great, nothing special. Basically just a retelling of the story you already knew if you grew up a Turtles fan. Oh, gotta get those ninja stars. And I've said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. I really wish that um, Emma Stone had played played April O'Neil. Megan Fox, she, she was okay, but um, I think Emma Stone really would have been great as uh, April. Up, oh. bebop. And he killed me. No surprise there. Leonardo got caught. Who fights next? Well, I'll just go in order. Raphael. Alright. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna guess that I'm probably gonna get to the dam and then I'm probably gonna die. Just like I did as a kid. I probably used I'd probably use Game Genie to see more of the levels of the game. And he's gonna kill me. Oh, that's right, you can switch turtles while... while, uh... Don't have to wait to die. <laughs> I can actually get up there and save April before the game progresses. Funny little glitch. Um... Where do I go next? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I know it's one of these buildings you have to get into. Whoa, that's, that was close. You get run over by one of those and that's it. I think I go this way. Some pizza. Yeah, and another complaint you, you heard in, in uh, Angry Video Game Nerds review. Such a 
random assortment of characters that had really nothing to do with the cartoon or the movies. I don't know if the movie had been coming out had come out before or after this game. I think it was after. But even the movie didn't really have many characters. It just had Casey Jones and the Foot Clan. The first one, anyway. Ah, oh, the theme music. One of those memorable themes from... Alright, let's just keep moving on. Don't have to actually fight all these guys. Yep, this is the building you want to go into. And there's a whole bunch of shit in the way. Let's switch to Donatello. Even though I kind of want to save him for something later on. Oh man, that screen. Screen slow down. That was notoriously bad on this game, as you can see. Nunchuck dude. Alright. Here's a glitch that everyone knows that's played this game. You stand there, and while he jumps, that's not working. Oh. It's just, you have to time it right. Kind of a strange glitch. Weird. I remember doing this glitch before, and it, it doing it every time he jumped, he would take damage. But here, it's just kind of random, kind of odd. There we go. It's cool that they got the uh, turtles theme in there. From the Cartoon. Don't let the Foot Clan destroy the dam. Alright, so this is where I would usually get as a kid. Or actually, no. I take that back. Park coming up is where I would usually get. Ah. And another Foot Soldier. Took about in one hit. Somewhat a kind of a lame mini boss there. Game. Well, I guess they they were limited in their design. Ah, damn it! Well, at least I got the pizza. Yep, gotta jump over those. Oh, and this. Another complaint from, uh, that I've heard about this game. You move anywhere on the, um... Oh, these jumps. Good lord. Yeah, see how enemies keep respawning? Definitely adds to the challenge. And I gotta go down and deal with this guy. What is he supposed to be? He kinda looks like... Kinda looks like the thing from uh, Fantastic Four a little bit. Ah, man, oh man, these jumps. Maybe I should just walk over it. Nope, that doesn't work. Holy shit, this is annoying. Just like it was when I was a kid. There we go. Oh, another floor. Okay, keep on moving. Good thing is, uh... Most of these enemies just take a hit, or if they take multiple hits, they usually stop in their tracks and you can just beat them up till they die. But, boy oh boy, a lot of enemies in this game to deal with. Especially, like I said, if you move one inch to the right or left, and you reset the screen, they come back. You can take a lot, you can take a hell of a beating in this game. 
Alright, so here is where I would usually get as a kid. Good lord, is this annoying. Definitely, if there's a list of the top 100 toughest levels in a game, this probably should be, if not number one, top five easily. Good lord, was this annoying as a kid. And, of course, stuff that kills you instantly. Those spike that those uh they look like jellyfish it's kind of odd and i got barely any help for raff and mike all right let's just finish this up i'm i know i'm not gonna beat this yeah that's the one thing you, you can find power-ups in this game i don't know if they respond though but what difference would it make? Because then you'd have to re -go you'd have to go all the way through the level again and get beat up by all kinds of stupid shit. Is there a bomb over here? Yep, there is. Wow, I'm surprised I actually was able to clear two of these bombs. Oh, and of course those spinny spike things. And, to make matters worse, the frickin' time limit. God almighty, was this annoying. That's another one. Alright, let's see, is there another one over here? Nope, just one of those... Uh, one of those spinny things. Okay. Finish things up with Raphael. Why am I not surprised that happened? So anyway, guys, that was the f the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. I've got to say, it is not a bad game. It's just that damn, damn level. I mean, I it was a lot, of, a lot of trouble as a kid. A lot of trouble now. But as far as I could tell, if you could get by that one, um, you just, yeah, more bullshit that you'd probably run into. So... That was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for one life. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.